Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is June 26, 2022, and we've been blessed with a beautiful day today. The wind is out of the north. We've got us a cool front come through and only supposed to be a high of 80 today. So it's a perfect day to uh, get in here and we're gonna harvest our garlic and our onions and get them up under the awning there and get them drying. So let's get started. Before we go in the garden, I'll show you a little project I did uh, yesterday. Uh, while I was out here baking my brains out in the sun, <laughs> I added these wood chips to these little uh, front beds here. So that's really going to cut down on the weeds. And also uh, it helps retain the moisture in there. So yeah, weed suppression has been kind of tough this year with uh, all the rain we got early on. So it was kind of concentrated there at one time. And man, it really got the weeds going good, and I wasn't able to get down here and weed. So that's going to help out a lot. So let's get in here. I'm going to do the garlic first right there. Yeah, I'm really anxious to see how this garlic turned out. I think we've got uh, 20 cloves in here. Yeah, that looks nice. So we'll get that up there and get it drying. So because the wind's out of the north today, every airplane that flies into Will Rogers in Oklahoma City is going to go right over us. Man, these are nice. Been wondering where that went. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 20 nice big music variety garlic. Okay, let's get over here next door and get some of these big old Dixondale onions out of the ground. Okay, these are Dixondale onions. Supposedly, they're the same genetic variety as Vidalia onions. They're just not grown in Georgia. So, they're basically a Texas Vidalia style onion. And uh, this variety I'm harvesting here is 10, 15, Texas super sweet and they are sweet they're good I don't really care for onions raw but when these are in my food they're really good and I can actually stand to eat some of this onion without it being cooked the thing I don't like about onions is just that crunch in your mouth it just uh, just something about that texture it just gives me a cringe but uh when they're cooked in food, they're, they're fine. But yeah, these are excellent onions. I also have some uh, reds and they're down in the other garden. But uh, these are all the super sweet. And I think down there is uh, another variety called Yellow Granix. So check out Dixondale Farms. That's .com. And uh, you can get these onions in bunches of 50. And uh, it's like eight bucks for 50. So it's a pretty good deal. And that's, that's with shipping, so yeah, let's get going. I'll start with a few of these that are really, really good sized. And I'm not watered out here, so this ground is pretty hard. Yeah, look at that. Get a couple more. Here's a big one. Man, look at these. That's 
that's how big they are and uh, I don't do a lot special to these I do fertilize them for their recommendation but uh, let's get the rest of them out of the ground so this is way more onions than we can eat right in a short amount of time so what we do my wife she has a sometimes she uses a hand chopper that's a a pampered chef uh, it's a little thing you pop it on the top and other times she'll just use a food processor and just lightly chop them and then we put them in ziploc bags and make it about three quarters inch thick and seal that bag and then freeze it so when you want to cook with some onion you just get your Ziploc bag and you snap off a piece of that frozen onion and just throw it in your pot with whatever you're cooking. That way you can preserve these. No need to can them, you can just freeze them. And that way works really good, you know, for cooking and breaking off the amounts you need. Uh, works really good. So we just, in the middle of June, we ran out of white onion in the freezer. <laughs> but uh, we still got a lot of red from two years ago. So, and I did plant some red ones. I don't know why <laughs> I did. So the way I planted these, there's four rows. And between each row is a little uh, trough I made the onions are elevated just a little bit. And in this trough, I put my fertilizer. I put uh, straight nitrate, 3300 and some, and then I put some organic vegetable uh, fertilizer uh, alternating. So they got a little bit of both. And that's kind of a modified version of the way they tell you to uh, plant them. They tell you to plant them uh, in, in a, a, a double row and fertilize down the middle. So I basically what I did here, but uh, I have two double rows in this little narrow bed, which is kind of crowded, but it, it's worked out. There's a nice one. <laughs> So when you buy your onions from Dixondale, well, if you, if you get on their email list, they'll mail you uh, what you need to be doing at any given time of the year, uh, when to fertilize, when, when to plant them, when to fertilize, uh, how often you water them, uh, when, what you need to look for, like the, the, the growth starting to turn brown and laying down, that's when you need to harvest. And, uh, yeah, they send you a lot of really good informational emails, uh, Dixondale does. And I'm not affiliated with Dixondale at all. They just have a good product. Dixondale also sells a, a variety pack, so if you don't want all a bunch of all one kind, they'll send you a variety. I think there's uh, four, four different varieties in some of those if you're not sure which ones you want. So out of the bunches I got, I gave quite a few to, uh, uh, gave quite a few away to my daughter and my folks. Folks in Oklahoma means my parents. <laughs> Yeah, this variety 1015 Texas Super Sweet. Texas Super Sweet. <laughs> Oki Rob is the one that uh, turned me on to this variety. Check out his channel. He, uh, he has a huge garden and he grows some giant onions like these, bigger. And uh, he, he has a very good gardening channel. I don't think he puts out a lot of videos anymore, but uh, look back on his gardening uh, playlists you'll see some good stuff also check out Ronnie at uh, early bird farm SC for South Carolina 
he grew some of these this year as well. I think he harvested his a couple weeks ago. Look, I missed one right here. Oh, there's one. Little one. Sometimes they just don't go. <laughs> All pulled up out of here. And there's our harvest. Part of it. Man, it's sure satisfying <laughs> to get all that after all that TLC and keeping the weeds out all spring and early summer. It was a lot of work and now it's paid off. So I've got another uh, row down in the big garden down here. But uh, I'm not going to video harvesting those. I'm just going to pull them up. That soil down there isn't as good as this raised bed. So... Uh, they're not quite as big, but I want to go get those now. Okay, so here's our onion haul. We got us a wheelbarrow full. So these are called Southern Red Bell. And these are the onions I got from down below. You can see they're not near as big as these down here. So the big onions, you have to have good fertilizer, nice... Uh, fluffy soil and that's about it uh, regular watering you can't let them get wet and stand in water which these down here uh, when we had all that rain they were actually submerged for a little while a few hours until the water all dissipated but these here were in raised beds and different soil so I'm going to lay them out here on this uh, cardboard and have them all separated and get them to drying so this is up here underneath our awning. So this is in the shade all the time. And uh, it's right here into the front of our fifth wheel trailer. So the key is to keep them uh, separate and uh, just where the air can flow. Because they need to dry out for a while before we process them. I guess if you're going to freeze them, it doesn't really matter. But if there's one that's rotten and touches the others, it'll definitely uh, make them go bad. So you can weave these greens and kind of braid them and hang them. This is a lot faster. <laughs> Here's our garlic. I think garlic, you actually cut the tops off. I'll have to research that. It's been a while since I've harvested garlic. Man, look at those. Those are nice. Well, there you have it. Got the garlic, the uh, red southern bells, Yellow Granics and Texas Super Sweets. That is a lot of onions. That will hold us over till next year. Well, that's it. Uh, onion and Garlic Harvest 2022. Yeah, this, uh, this turned out to be a really good haul this year. So uh, we'll get these, after these dry, we'll get them uh, all processed and in the freezer. And we'll probably do the same thing with the garlic. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll catch you on the next Homestead video. Y'all take care.